Welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be doing part one of the reimagining of the SEMA X8. So, one of the things, if you look way back, um, I had a fly off with my SEMA X8, but I had a bunch of extra parts. So, what I decided is I really enjoyed the SEMA X8. I've got all these parts, so I decided what if I reimagined it as, say, an, you know, uh, a Flame Wheel 450 or something like that. So, that's exactly what I did. So I went off onto Thingiverse, got the basic parts, and redesigned or remixed the parts, if you will, a bit to handle the SEMA components. So one of the things you might remember from a prior episode, I designed an open SCAD, a new motor mount to hold the motors. So I have that, and that, uh, in short, bolts to the modified um, uh, F450 arms. Now I'm using the arms without the legs uh, because again I did these out of PLA and I think this will be fine for general use but you don't want it landing on there. Now I haven't worked out the landing gear yet but I've worked out all the other pieces so far and so what I have the base here is I've printed this out of hips or high impact polystyrene so this is very strong and then the top plate I've printed out of ABS so again uh, very strong, very resilient. I used did this at a high temperature and I did this flat so it really has some good adhesion across the uh, whole surface of this so very tough. Um, what I did is I took one of my um, SEMA X8 uh, H control boards, hover control boards and modified it a little bit. One of the things I did is remove the switch and I put this header on here so I just uh, short the header to turn the board on because mostly the board will be turned on or off with the um, connecting the battery but I have this also and then I replaced the LEDs just with these two LEDs now I may do something a little bit different in the future but right now these serve to indicate you know different power and, and status uh, indicators for me using this and, and I don't fly it out that far so um, should be fine and in the future I may remix and do something else a little different now on the uh, for each one of the motor connections I put a header pin on here and the idea is is this header pin will plug into the motor if it doesn't make a liar out of me like that and what I'll do is once I get this set up is I'll put a piece of heat shrink tubing over this to hold this uh, together uh, but this allows me to do a relatively quick change should I break the arm or one of the motors become damaged and, and swap this out because one of the things I think this is kind of neat um, for the relatively cheap price that uh, of this sorry for bumping you guys because I want to get the controller down is so you know because with the controller and this board you can do a lot of different things so I, what I want to do is experiment with doing some different copter builds I'm also going to do probably an FPV racer based upon the same design um, or at least electronics whole different frame so I want to be able to be, you know switch this out and I've got a couple of these boards and the boards are cheap I think I paid like 12 bucks for this board so you really can't beat that for a flight controller and again the motor assemblies you can get a whole motor assembly gears and everything for about 20 bucks and I got tons of props so it really is kind of a cheap platform uh, to mess around with. Now, a couple of things that I am going to do is I have a non-hover board here, which I'm actually going to take this one. I'm going to think I'm going to try converting this to brushless um, because basically what happens is these MOSFETs control the power to the brushed motors. So instead of feeding uh, the current to the motor, uh, I'll take the signal from the MOSFET and feed it to an electronic speed controller and it should control the motors of a brushless um, quad so a lot of different options and again these boards are so cheap the transmitter all this so you know it's really a great option if you want to mess around with with quads and uh that kind of stuff and mix and match your own so again this is the first one this is the first episode as you see i got it just about done uh, i just need to really bolt it together and finish connecting things because i've got everything mounted up on the arms and then what i simply have to do is mount these onto here and obviously onto the base put the props on and everything and it should be good to go now one of the other things um, that i've done is i've taken the housing off the camera i am going to install the camera but i'm going to 3d print a new housing that will mount on here um, and then as you see I snipped off the the jack because this extra weight and headache I don't need so what I'm going to actually do is, is wire this direct so as this plugs in when this gets power 
it starts transmitting a signal and, and that's it so pretty straightforward and I'll have a, you know FPV although it kind of crappy FPV yeah still be FPV and I can use the SEMA app and so that'll work out pretty good and again I'll have all this all posted out on Thingiverse too so if you want to build your own do your own thing with this and you have a 3d printer uh, go for it again I printed these out of hips in uh, ABS if you're not that comfortable or, or or working with those type of materials you could do this all out of PLA um, PLA is actually stronger than ABS but it's more rigid it's not as resilient as ABS and so uh, where ABS will bend PLA will crack and break that's the big difference so this is one of the reasons I didn't do the one with the landing leg on the on the bottom here because as it sits down what I am going to do is I am going to uh, design up some ABS or hips landing pads that will mount on the bottom of this so when it comes down it will hit on those and those will be easily replaceable if they do break but they should be out of a resilient material like this stuff because this this hips is really really tough stuff um, and so anyways hopefully you're finding this interesting if you are hey give it a thumbs up the subscribe button is going to be coming up over there and if you're not a subscriber please consider subscribing so you can keep up to date on this if you have comments hit me up below always happy to answer questions and hey we'll see you in the next video cheers